White fellas reckon that my people have been here for 40,000 years, but I reckon we've been here a long, long, long time. Creation started in the dream time. Our journey will go forever. And today, our journey continues through the red centre of the Northern Territory. It's time to see this land, this land of wonder. It's time to go and see what's up down under. What's up down under. G'day and welcome to the show. Today is the second part of our four-part journey from Alice Springs right through to Darwin via the Red Centre. And it's all thanks to our good mates at New Age Caravans and Tourism NT. We'll be checking out Wycliffe Well, the UFO capital of Australia, and then we'll make our way up the road to Daly Waters to the pub to celebrate Northern Territory Day. Woohoo! Now, clearly you've got a bit of time on your hands, so why don't you jump in with us, come along for the ride as we show you what's, what's up, up down, down under. under. We just spent the night here in Wycliffe Well, a unique and different experience like no other. They say strange things happen in Australia's outback and let me tell you, Wycliffe Well is no exception to the rule. In fact, the locals here and the visitors are fast believing that this little town is Australia's capital to the number one UFO sighting in the nation. So let's go and check it out. All around, you'll see artwork and imagery depicting our extraterrestrial friends. Just checking out this little fella. Don't you think he looks like Macca after a big night? I wish I had a blue shirt I could put on him. <laughs> Inside you find stories on actual sightings and heaps of memorabilia in the gift shop. No, 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 no. Whether you're a believer or not, it's definitely worth stopping off here at Wycliffe Well to check out the strange little fellas and you may just be lucky enough to see a UFO sighting. And speaking of strange little fellas, let's go over to Kalu Kalu, affectionately known as the Devil's Marbles, and check out what Mac is up to. The Stewart Highway is a little bit like nature's theme park. You jump in your car, you go for a bit of a drive, and then nature throws something out that makes you stop the car and have a look at it. Now, Kalu Kalu, or the Devil's Marbles as you may have heard of it, is just one of those spots at the theme park. You can't drive past, there's something about that just makes the hand turn to the right, pull you into the car park, and you just got to explore. It doesn't look natural, but I can assure you, it is. I'm sure a geologist would have a perfectly logical explanation for why those rocks are there and how they are formed. But for me, nah. Nothing explains why these perfectly round balls are stacked up in a big pile over maybe a kilometre and then nothing. You've got to stop and have a look at it. Got to get your photo taken with it. There's plenty of things to do and explore there and out the back they look like the spot there where, where people have created enough area there where, I don't know, maybe they're staying overnight, maybe they're not, but um, probably wouldn't be a bad spot to sit and look at the stars if you wanted. Now to plan your affordable and memorable holiday to the Northern Territory, Tourism NT can help. To find out how you can do the NT, just log on to northernterritory.com and follow the prompts. So if you reckon you want to get out here and get amongst the world's biggest game of marbles, you'll find it just north of Wycliffe Well on the Stewart Highway. Now speaking of Wycliffe Well, Tanya's back there now, checking it out. Not just the UFO capital of Australia, Wycliffe Well Holiday Park has everything you'd expect and a whole lot more. It's a quite lovely park. You, you've got to meet like very different kind of people over here. Tell me about the park because I love that it's so green and yeah, the beautiful it's, trees. It's green. We've got the animals like we've got the emus, donkeys, parrots. We have a few cattle stations around so the cows also come in a few times. <laughs> Tell me about the facilities. We have the powered site and unpowered site and the camping tent and then we've got a swimming pool. We've got a restaurant and, and the bar inside. And we've got the motel rooms, accommodations. We've got the budget rooms, basic cabins, and a house. It's like a house feeling. Like inside we can get a kitchen and a bathroom and double bedrooms. Mm -hmm. It really is an amazing park and the kids just love the animals and the space to run around and play. We promised you earlier, so stick around after the break. We're going to take you up to the iconic Daily Waters pub. What's up, down under? Oh, no. 
Arrows endured another night in their New Age caravans and again it was time to travel north through the Red Centre. Today, well, we're heading to Daly Waters and it's Northern Territory Day today and tonight that means we get to set off some firecrackers. We're really fortunate to be on this trip, but we haven't done it without help. If you want help planning a holiday in Central Northern Territory, just log on to discovercentralaustralia.com and find heaps of tips and information. After a stretch, we pulled into Tennant Creek where Rusty picked up some much needed supplies. That one there is what they call professional pack. So that is the ultimate of the packs. Yeah, we better, we better have one of those then. Yep. Tennant Creek is a good place to book accommodation, but since we're just getting started, we use this break to get some fuel. Well, the journey from Whitecliff Well to Daly Waters is quite a hike, so we'll fill up in Tennant Creek and then we'll be on our way. We did get on our way, and sometimes unexpected things happen when you travel over distances. Well, here's a situation you don't want to find yourself in. I'm on the side of a track in the middle of the Northern Territory. I can't raise anyone on the UHF and I have no mobile phone service. The rest of the convoy's already at our destination. I have no way to contact them and let them know that I even need help. Thankfully, I've got my Optus sat sleeve, which turns my Android device or iPhone into a satellite phone. The word satellite phone doesn't have to frighten you anymore. In fact, it's only 95 cents a minute for calls, 50 cents a text, and after the initial cost of $888 for the sat sleeve, it's only 15 bucks a month to keep your account open. And the best thing about that account is, when you're not actually using it, you can just hibernate it and not spend a cent. Operation is dead simple. You just put the phone in the cradle, open the app, and when you see the logo, you're ready to make a call. As long as you've got a clear view of the sky, you've got 100% coverage all over Australia. And here comes the cavalry now. Job's right back up, all ready to go. Thanks, guys. Once again, Tanya gets me out of strife, but I never would have got her here without my Optus sat sleeve. If you want any more information on the Optus sat sleeve, go to optus.com.au forward slash satellite. And say yes. Well, we're following the white line north today to Daly Waters, and I'm towing the New Age Oz Classic, which has been my home for this trip. And I've got to say, it's absolutely a soda to tow, and it's even more comfortable inside. So it's over to Macca to tell you more about it. Well, Macca, we've still got football. Meat pies. Kangaroos. And we got, we don't have the other one anymore. Doesn't matter, because what we do have is the Australian-made Oz Classic brought to you by New Age Caravans. Why don't you let us show you why this is such a popular caravan in the New Age range. Outside here, you've got everything you're gonna need after a big day on the road. Nice big tunnel boot, aluminium checker plate, classic design, roll out awning, and an outdoor entertainment system. What more could you want to be? Out the back, you've got a reversing camera, bumper bar, and a nice set of tail lights that just top off that classic design again. Up the front here, you've got everything you're going to need out on the road. You've got your coupling, all your wiring and everything like that. Jockey wheel, couple of gas bottles, nice little touches like they've covered everything up that can get damaged on the road while you're travelling. So you've got less to worry about. Behind that, nice big toolbox. Throw everything in there that you want to grab while you're on the side of the road. She's got a bit of dust on her. Hey Macca, of course there's dust outside. I just towed this rig up from Alice Springs. But you know what? There's not a speck of dust inside. Inside, the Classic has a full-size shower and separate toilet, a beautiful front-load washing machine and a really modern vanity. Beautifully appointed appliances, including a full-size Dometic fridge and freezer, microwave and a fantastic internet-enabled sound system. A really comfortable leather dinette and really cool lift-up footrests. I love the convenient bedside tables and the mirrored robe doors are fantastic. And to top off the classic, the inner spring queen size mattress which is super comfortable and I can vouch for that. And it has heaps of storage and see, I told you, not a speck of dust. Well that is an Australian classic, the Oz classic. And if you'd like to know some more, jump on their website at newagecaravans.com.au now when you do the NT, this is what it's all about. Pulling into places like the iconic Daily Waters pub. We've arrived, Daily Waters. Let's start setting her up. Not just a pretty face, my skillet reversing a caravan was put into action. This is like this is like the pit stop at the, the Grand Prix, mate. 
need a longer cord. And my problem solving skills turned me into a supervisor. Well, there's trouble. We could either get the cow to jump four or five metres to the other side. We get a bloke on each corner of the van, pick it up and bring it four or five metres this way. Or we get another extension line. <laughs> Eventually, we had the new age caravans all set up and ready to enjoy Territory Day in Daly Waters. The best pub in the world! We've just arrived at Daly Waters and I couldn't think of a better place to be on Territory Day. Oh, they're right. The biggest day the Northern Territory has at one of the greatest little country pubs in Australia. I guarantee you, there's going to be some fireworks here tonight. <laughs> Proudly brought to you by our partners at New Age Caravans. See all their latest models by logging on to newagecaravans.com.au. The Daily Waters Pub is one of my favourite watering holes in Australia. It hasn't changed in probably 25 years since I first went there, and it's still the same. It's it's just an atmosphere like no other. Tanya felt right at home bumping into one of her fans. So, um, to all the viewers, this is <laughs> Leslie all the way from Wodonga, Victoria. Yep. Not a lot of locals that live in Daly Waters, but they still rock up and they mix in with all the, the travellers, the caravanners, the truck drivers, you name it. There's one of everything that Daly Waters pubs. It's like the Noah's Ark of pubs. What's up down under? <laughs> Delightfully um, welcoming after a big drive, cold drink, the memorabilia in there. I think you take a week to get around the place just to look at all the stuff that's hanging up on the walls and. Um, you know, from the ceiling all around the place. Bras, undies, you know, dollar notes, um, money from all around the world. Even having a meal here is special, and having been here before, our executive producer shared his suggestion to the crew. Go to beef in the barrow. Every night is Friday night at the Daily Waters pub. Now, I feel like I've had a win, and if you want to have a win too, check out our competitions online or on our show, just like this one. We all know that life's luxuries never end at Nova Caravans, and that, my friends, is not going to change. But I'll tell you what could change shortly is your luck, because your mates at Nova have decided to give away a Bravo Caravan worth over $59,000. Inside the Bravo, you're gonna discover a queen-size bed, full ensuite, single-piece roof, single-piece floor, and all the bells and whistles that you could possibly need to get out and enjoy yourself. Get online and enter our competition now at whatsupdownunder.com.au. Remember, you can only enter once every day, but you can enter every day. And always remember that it's at Nova Caravans where life's luxuries never end. Oh, Territory Day. How well did we time our run to get to the Daily Waters pub? After an amazing meal, Daily Waters entertained the crowd in their usual fashion with live music. But someone must have mentioned the circus was in town. Tanya and I were asked to hop up and, and entertain the crowd. And who's a caravan here? Well, there you go. Now, just in case you don't know, I'm Tanya Koenigan, this is Maka, and we're here with What's Up Down Under. I shared a story everyone can relate to. Can I have a pint of draft, please, mate? He said, that'll be 10 cents. I said, you've got to sort this out for me. Mate, what's the story in the corner? He said, they're grey nomads, they're waiting for happy hour, half price drinks. <laughs> I had a bit of a yarn, told a couple of stories about what we do on the road, and then um, they told me to get off and they wanted to hear Tanya sing. Getting up and singing and doing a couple of songs for the, um, the caravanners was just uh, a real highlight for me. <laughs> then, the Territory Day event everyone was waiting for. It started off like any other day of the week there. A couple of coalies, we had a good feed, we watched the show, and then we went outside, blew stuff up. I haven't had cracker nuts since I was a kid, so I hadn't experienced that for some time now. And there was people everywhere and firecrackers going off. It was just crazy. The main fireworks show lit up the night sky and the faces of the crowd. And then it was time for everyone else to get into the act. It was a lot of fun, really good fun, and um, yeah, cracking up. I can't wait to go back to the territory and celebrate it again in 2017. 
Well, we've got a party to complete here at the Daily Waters Pub, but stick around because after the break, we're going to head further north and Tanya's going to get a little bit of relaxation time at the Mataranga Hot Springs. And Maka gets to explore the Kata Kata Caves. What's up down under? Travelling Secret Towns competition for the chance to win three great prizes. Just log on to truebluetravelling.com.au, click on the competition page and tell us about your secret town. It's that easy. Win one of three Waco products with a top prize valued at $1,399. The True Blue Travelling Secret Towns competition. The coolest competition ever. Fishing with your mates is what makes fishing great, but what if it could make you a millionaire in an instant? To find out all about Tourism NT's Million Dollar Fish competition, log on to milliondollarfish.com.au and don't let this be the one that got away. We began packing up again under the instructions of our executive producer. Hey guys, you right to me, I ain't going, eh? It's going time. With a clear idea of our requirements, we left daily waters in the New Age caravans along with our silent support crew from Red Ark. To keep our batteries charged for the trip, they've supplied us with a new Red Ark solar blanket. This is essential equipment for a trip like ours. Out here in the Northern Territory, it can get that hot some days that you could fry an egg on a bald head. Now the best way to get yourself sorted for a cold bevy in the afternoon is to throw a few in a bag, go down to the nearest billabong, chuck them in, so when you knock off in the arvo, you've got something nice and cool to wet your whistle with. I like to keep my bevies cool with a Red Ark Solar Blanket. The Red Ark Solar Blanket comes in many different sizes. The Anderson plugs make it easy to connect. And it comes with a regulator giving you a correct charge which protects your battery. The long cable allows you to camp in the shade while your solar blanket lays in the sun. And with the remote monitor, you can see how much charge you're getting. And the best part is, it's portable and it packs away in small places. Here you go, Macca. Nice cold ginger beer. Ginger. Ginger beer. I, I didn't say ginger, I said beer. At least I can rely on Red Ark. Warren and his family decided a stop was in order, so we picked the Mataranka Thermal Pool, one of the many free self-guided activities when you do the NT. Adjacent to the parking lot is the Elsie Homestead replica, reconstructed for the 1980s film We of the Never Never. Walk through and take a step back in time. From there, it's just a short stroll and you arrive at the crystal clear pool, where the water is warm and perfect for soothing your body after a day of travelling. It's a tough job. The Mataranka thermal pools are absolutely amazing, so relaxing. But let's go and check out now what Mac is up to at Cutter Cutter Caves. Well, we found the Cutter Cutter Caves and we found Jason, who's going to be our guide here today. We've got some of the guys out of our convoy and we're going to go and check it out. This was a full blown limestone cave system. You went right down through it, there's all the stalactites, the stalagmites, the crystals. Well, and you have a word that's repeated twice, means place of many. So, an example, Jim Jim Falls, place of many pandanuses, Wagga Wagga, New South Wales, place of many crows. Jawa people, they named the park Kata Kata, meaning place of many stars. So that's why all the calcite crystals is around. Found some snakes in there, and plenty of skins where the other snakes had been. Marco, you know how I said we're gonna see a snake? Yeah. Yeah, I just found one for you, mate. Wow. What sort of snake's that? That's a banded tree snake. It was just really interesting. A bit of history in there too about um, the guy who found it, Mr. Smith. He was a stockman, a cattleman in the area. There's the eye. Yeah. Yep. Nose. Yep. Mouth. Yep. And forehead there. Gotcha. Some people reckon it's Mr. Smith looking down for his cattle. Had a few kids in here and they said it looked like Mr. Burns from The Simpsons. Also learning on the tour, Jason explained to us how the stalactites assist nature. They start off with straws, but the straws are very hollow, so you can get tree roots coming down through them oh. from the surface, and there's a good example for you right there. Wow. How far below the surface are we here? We're about 30 metres under, mate. So that root has travelled 30 metres yep. to make its way down here? Yeah, they um, come down just to get the moisture of the humidity in the air, and there's no rain for six to eight months. They survive and still go green, just from the uh, humidity in the cave. Well, there is a bit of that in here. Yeah. Oh man, feel the temperature change. Oh yeah. 
such a fascinating tour and we couldn't thank Jason enough for showing us the place of many stars. Ah, if Cutter Cutter Caves aren't on your bucket list, do yourself a favour and put them on there. Mate, where can people find out information about coming and getting a tour here? Um, just go on to Nipmaloc Tours website and um, you can go through there or just ring up Nipmaloc Tours. Excellent. Yeah. Do yourself a favour, do it. Now we're going to head further down the road. Actually, we want to get a boat tour down at Nipmaloc. Can you look after us there? Yeah, mate, I'll sort you out. Good. Yeah. Let's do it. No worries. Make sure you join us next episode because we take Jason up on his offer and tour with a Catherine Gorge. Take in an amazing sunset at Mount Bundy Station. And take to the skies over Kakadu. It's an episode you don't want to miss. After leaving the caves, we joined up with Tanya at our next home away from home, just outside of Catherine. Once we settled into our new age caravans, it was time to relax and make a cup of tea. Well, here we are. We've made it to Nipmaluk National Park, which is right on the doorstep of Catherine Gorge. Thanks to our great mates over at New Age Caravans and Tourism NT. Make sure you join us again next time because we're going to explore the Nipmaluk National Park and everything around it as we show you what's, what's up, up down, down under. under. Yeah.